Now we're getting started with repairs. I took that wire that he had and I'm just going to throw it away because I have some more wire. And I'm going to start out with taking that apart, stripping these. And of course I'll I take and twist all the leads together and then fold them in half as I usually do. And it's mainly because the wire is so small you'd fold it over it gets a little more for the butt connectors that I put on here to grip with. And of course I'm going to take the brown to brown. Make sure it's in all the way and crimp it. Now I'll move over to the yellow and push that in and crimp it and then there we go with that so and then that's going to give me plenty to go up to his truck but the next thing I need to do is I'm actually going to run the wires because this thing has now this trailer has this pipe welded to run all the wires through and I couldn't pull out the old wires but I want to run through the pipe so I'm taking a piece of baling wire and feeding it down through that pipe and yep, get it coming out on the other end And I'm going to get the end of this wire and I'm just going to fold that over and around and crimp it down so that they're stuck together like so and won't come apart and get everything in a straight line and I'm just going to feed that into that piece of pipe like so and then I'll come back here where it came out on the other end and just start pulling Now I got that pulled through, I'm going to pull it back and get the slack I need up here. And I'm just going to take my electrical tape and tape all my wires together like so. And then we'll call all that good. And I'll get everything repositioned. Okay, now when I push that wire through it, come up back here. I'm just going to run it back here the rest of the way on the frame. And then, let's see. Yeah, that piece of pipe comes up, you know, basically right up above here. Or this, um, you know, it comes up to here. So, let me get my... Okay, and I know I want to come up through here, so I'm just going to feed my baling wire up through there and pull the wire up. And then likewise, I'm going to fish it down through there and it's a little tight, but it's But it made it through and and then the boards in the way but right here there's a break in that pipe where you could break out the wire and go to the other side marker but uh, ooh, whatever I did I popped that that loose 
Oh, I bet you that just glued in because it looks like it's got paint all over it. Because I tried to pull that out and I couldn't get it to come out. So yeah, so now I can pull that on through and reach up here at the front and get it started in the hole. Oh, there's a, a stick in there. It's actually working better than it normally does. <laughs> normally there's all, so much trash in these things that they put on here you can't even feed the baling wire through. <laughs> So we're going to make it, I think. Well, I said we was, and now I hit something. Don't want to slide, but I can grab my pliers and then just keep looking back there at the back till it comes out. Okay. All right. Then we come back here, and here's our baling wire. We've transitioned from there and then. There we go, there's our wire. And then you just gotta undo this. And where I had that crimped around there, you know, I won't, well, I'll end up getting cut off. But yeah, so I got that down through there. Now I pulled a little bit of that wire back through. So in case we decide to add side marker lights up there, I'll have a place to get in there and tap into that wire. But then, yeah, we get back here. All right, now we're back to our tail light. And I'm going to go ahead and... It's easier to put the lens on here because we tested the light and we know the light works. Of course, Gypsy's here to help. Yeah, you're in the way. You're blocky. This is Gypsy. She's been here. She was a rescue from the trailer park, and she's probably at least, I'm going to say 15 to 16 years old. And for an old cat, she still gets around pretty doggone good. Now I'm going to do the same thing here that I did before is twist the wires together then fold them over. I think I'll strip a little more off there. We might get run off in a little bit because I'm feeling sprinkles of rain. Cat, you got it. going to have to go. They don't realize that when they're doing this, they're in the way. But she just wants attention. This is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, because right now she's super nice, but in 10 minutes, she could get pissy and want to bite you. And somewhere I misplaced my other butt connector. But I brought the bag. Let's get one more out. Trim a little off each end.
All right, now see, before I bolt that up, I got a sanding disc on my drill. I'm just gonna come here on the back side. And here I'll show you. I sanded here down the paint off to get the clear to good metal. And then I can take my get all my stuff together. Da -da -da. There, right there. Cat, you gotta go. Well, put that up on there, and then since there's slots, I brought some flat washers to throw up there, and then put the nut on. Tighten that up, and then I'll take my wires here on the back side and trim off the excess. <coughs> Dog, you can be as bad as a cat. Him and that stealth tongue, he just, just gets so jealous of the cats. Afraid they might get more attention than he does. We'll take yellow to yellow, and then brown to brown, yeah basically I'll just take it, light the lighter and I start heating up and work my way up and down, and I'll rotate that a little as it shrinks. Get that shrunk down good and tight, and then, you know, I'll get around. I think I'll pull some more and go around like that. And there isn't no real good way to do this. Oh. I'll do that, and then I'll, I'll come up here and pull the excess back up through. And we're kind of. All right, now to deal with our ground, what I'm going to do is take the screw out here. Because, I'm, I mean, it's self-drilling, self-tapping. I mean, not a bad choice, but also not the best choice. <laughs> so I got a quarter by 20 by three quarter bolt, which... Like I figured, it won't fit through there, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll clip that off. Strip back the wire. Press that around. This may be too much wire to fold over and go in a red buck or red ring terminal, but we'll see. Yep, it won't fit, so. That's okay, I'll just twist it. Snip a little bit of the excess off. And we'll put that in there. Oh. And then what I'm going to do is 
I'll get my wire out of the way. I'm going to drill a new hole, but I'm going to take and clean the paint off with my sanding disc. through all right now I'll put the bolt through put the eyelid on a flat washer and then the nut Of course, I used a nylock nut, which I I use them a lot because I work with so many things that vibrate. I got to worry about them coming loose. So yeah, we'll tighten that down. Okay. I'm mean, talking about the little bit of excess wire. I'm just gonna come down here and kind of loop it like so. Well, I'll try that again. Make a little loop. I'll take my zip tie and. And cut the excess off. Then I'll go to the front and hold a little bit of excess, which isn't much. So, but we got all the lights working. Now the last thing is, I hate the way this looks, so First thing I was going to do, I already drilled a couple pilot holes, and I'm going to drill a couple a little bigger. I do that before I finish fiddling with the wires, but okay, so I don't like the way that looks. So you can buy this this corrugated wire loom stuff at the auto parts store. Um, I think I got this off of eBay. Um, bought in like an assortment pack where um, I got different sizes. Because I, I was working on the 77 Ford, I wanted to loom up some of the wires so I'll just slowly work that down on there which sometimes easier said than done but it's working Phone rang is one of my lawn, my commercial lawn guys that brings his mower here for me to change the oil.
so I don't mind doing it. It's just it's it's so simple. I can't believe he don't do it himself and save the money. But um, I get my loom back to this. I get my loom stuff on here, and then on this end, I I I pulled it back a little. I wrapped a few wraps around the wires. Then I put the loom back, had it coming through the outside of the loom, and did three or four more turns. And then I go down through this and, you know, periodically wrap it around there. You know, again, which I got a little, maybe a little too much, but I'll come down to this end and I'll do the same thing I did on the other end. I'll find my end of my tape. And I'll just take this and wrap it around here a few times. I think I'll cut about an inch off of this. Like so. And then I'll get it back over the wires. And get them all back inside. Like so. And then we'll just tape it shut. Like so. Then once I get her taped shut, get that out of the way, and oh, there's my zip ties. I prefer using the black zip ties. They seem to last longer, but apparently that's my last big one. So I'm going to start out with the white one and put around here. Now I'm going with that hole I drilled in the, the frame there. Go around there and then I'll come around here with the second one. Like so. And then roughly figure up, make sure I, I got enough to reach the truck. You know, you want to be allow enough so that as he turns, you know, this is going to swing in the arc of the truck moving. And then, once I get that where I think I want it, I'll take my zip ties and start tightening them down here. Like so. I cut off the excess there and basically what that's going to do is it tethers it so he ain't pulling directly on the wires then when he get he unhooks he can just wrap this around and you know kind of tie it like so so it's up out of the way and uh, other than that I guess one final check of the lights and we're good to go because um, My little thing I made, great idea, but it didn't work as well as I thought it would. So what I ended up doing is the, uh, apparently the tail light wire, I'm going to throw that plug away, but, you know, and I might, probably should have got him a new one, but that one still worked. I'll clip my ground in, because when you look at these, of course our white is our ground. And then we got two browns for the tail lights and then the yellow and the green. So I'll clip that and we'll put that on the ground. Turn. Which I think you'll be able to see from there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tail lights on, off, on, off, and then left turn on, off, on, off, right turn on, off, on, off. So, well, that'll conclude this episode of What's Broke Today. That I've just about lost my voice yelling at the camera from a distance, but uh, yeah, I mean, trailer wiring's not difficult. I mean, Matter of making good connections where when you connect two wires together, good connections.
try and get waterproof connections always have to have a good ground uh, jumper wires like all this is, is just a piece of wire with two alligator clips on it I mean come in very handy so if you think you're missing the ground I mean if I've got this hooked up to a truck I'll sometimes run this from the frame of the truck to the frame of the trailer just so I know I got a good ground and uh, yeah we just go from there I mean it's just a matter of try you know of find out what you're missing and getting it added back having good tight secure connections good bulbs good lights good grounds and uh, you're good to go that uh, I, well I appreciate you watching Appreciate the thumbs up if you like my video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel because there's no telling what else you're going to see on what's broke today. And uh, have a great evening.